What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another custom 3D video. Today, I'm going to talk about what it's like to have a small 3D printing farm. In this video, I'm going to talk about what kind of printers I use, what CAD software I have, what slicer I use for my printers, what computer I have, and how many printers I have. I also talk about the filament I use and a lot of other things that go into having a print farm. So thanks for joining me everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So before I continue on, I want to talk a little bit about myself. I first got introduced into 3D printing in high school in my sophomore year at the school I went to. Uh, we had a few 3D printers and I just fell in love with them. And my senior year, I, found, I bought my first 3D printer. It was a Monoprice Mini Delta. And that thing was awesome up until I broke it trying to fix it. Kind of an oxymoron how that works, huh? And then a few months later, I bought a CR10 Mini. And then I bought another one. And then I bought another one. And then I bought a Monoprice MP10, which was a mistake. Uh, as you may know already, I don't like Monoprice printers. And I don't recommend you purchasing one. And then... Uh, I bought two Ender 3s, and I'll be coming out with a review for the CR10 Mini and the Ender 3. I have a Pro and a regular one later on, um, you know, maybe in a few weeks. So my company first started back in February of this year. Uh, I explained that in a video earlier, um, but, you know, obviously not a great time to start a company, but uh, I started printing some ear savers, you know, custom ones for companies. And I also did, you know, Wonder Woman ones and Batman ones. I also designed a mask and 3D printed the mask. You know, it, it's not a phenomenal mask, but it was great in a pinch uh, because in the very beginning, a lot of PPE was short and it was great for a few companies to have that. And I could put their logo on the front of the mask too, which was pretty cool. So right now, my company sells a few items, you know, uh, e on my e-commerce store, and I offer other 3D printing services like custom keychains. I do printer repair in my local area. Um, I also offer printer consulting. I'm not a reseller yet, but hopefully I can get into it in the future. Um, and I also offer uh, rapid prototyping, which is great for anybody looking, you know, and they have the next big idea and they need it designed and printed. You know, it's great because this is at a low cost compared to other 3D printing companies. So, here are two of my printers. I have a CR10 Mini right here. Um, and I also added this great attachment. I highly recommend that you print one of these so you can pull your th filament through easier. And my Ender 3, my regular one. I also put on a glass bill plate on this. Um, it's got like that surface that you can get on some of the Anacubic uh, printers, um, but if you flip it over, it's also a regular glass surface. Then I got two more printers right here, an Ender 3 Pro and another Mini, as you can see. And then over here I have another CR10 Mini. So here's some of the filament I use. I have some Sunlu, I have uh, Best Q, I think that's the name of the flexible filament that I have, and I have some Mad Hackers Pro PLA. Now I have like five spools of each of the colors you see here. So I have, I think 40 spools of filament, which in comparison to other YouTubers really isn't a lot. Now I have some PTG, I have some Duramac and some Overture. Um, I have like nine, nine or 10 spools of PTG, great stuff. So for a computer, I have an Omen with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX processor 2020 and an i7 Intel processor with about uh, 512 gigabytes storage. So far so good, great laptop. And it runs the CAD software pretty good. So in terms of CAD software, I use Fusion 360. Here's just a quick model I drew up for a business card holder. Uh, this is a great software since I'm a student. Um, it's free, so that's another great thing. And I can design a lot of different things. I've designed prototypes for customers on this. I've designed a lot of keychains on this. You know, it's just a very, very good software. Uh, very easy to use. I have used SolidWorks before, and um, this, I think, is easier to use, even though you can do a little bit more on SolidWorks for the particular applications I need this for. Uh, it's perfect. 
So as you can see, I use Cura Slicer, really great free slicer. I've watched videos explaining, you know, Cura and some other slicers that you have to pay for. Honestly, I just think it's not worth paying the $150 for the slicer that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. And Cura is just great. And I also use a little bit of Prusa Slicer. Um, I also find that a very, very good slicer for free. All right, so now I just wanted to show you around my website. So when you first get on, I have, you know, this pop-up. It shows services and shop and my Think It, print it, uh, think it Design It, Print It little slogan here, very good, and my animated logo. So if we exit out of here, we can see this is a great time lapse that I found on YouTube, and I make sure to video credit the guy who filmed it, uh, you know, and it, it's linked. Uh, I also have my logo here and all my social links. So here are a couple different services I offer and a time lapse. And this is just me explaining a local foundation that I've worked with in the past. And this is one of my featured products, a lithophane. You know, this is a great item. A lot of people sell these on Etsy. I also sell them on my website. And just some businesses that I've worked with in the past with a contact form. So if we move on to my shop, you can see the lithophane I have. I can do the colored one and the black and white one. And here are some other products that I offer, you know, dog tags, name chains, a lot of customizable items. And this is a very cool one. This is a document camera phone stand. I posted a video on my YouTube channel on how to use this. And then if we go over to services, we can see the four main services that I offer along with the shop. Uh, custom keychains, printer consulting, rapid prototyping, and 3D printer repair. And then go into deeper detail about these other uh, services in other videos. And if we go to my about page, then we can also see, um, you know, what my company does and the printers that I have and some great videos. And I make sure to, whatever videos I use, I also make sure to link them uh, just so I give them credit. So thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks for you know, checking out my company and what I do and my small 3D printer farm. You know, this is great and I encourage everybody to do this if they like 3D printing. You know, it's a little bit of money up front, but you know, the experience you get from it and just learning how these machines work, it's great for any aspiring engineer looking, f you know, to just build their own business. This is just a great starting point to get into, so I really, really encourage people to do it. Um, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Check out custom3dlc.com. Check out some of the products I offer and also make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts which will be linked in the description below. Thanks guys. Check you later.